hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute skull head purse and what are you gonna need you're gonna need uh, the soft yarn and the normal white yarn for the skin color or any other color that you want and you're gonna need this one for the top part and you'll need also a crochet hook I used 2.25 millimeters and some scissors to cut your yarn okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring so that I already see it. Uh, I already did in the first row so in the second row we're going to increase six times so we're going to have a total of 12 single crochets so you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch so you're going to do increase so repeat again single crochet in the same stitch okay you're going to repeat that again second time two okay again in the next stitch three And then four increase four okay five And the last one, six, increase. Okay. Okay, so after that, I'm going to pull my yarn here to make sure uh, the circle is closed and tight. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up my marker and put it over here so that I know where to start uh, in the next in the next row. Okay, so after that, in the next row, which is the third row, we are going to start increasing. So same, so we're going to do single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, all the way around for a total of 18 single crochets. So you're going to do here single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. Increase. Okay, and then you're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next one okay and then you're going to repeat there uh, like that until here where the marker is so you're going to do single crochet increase all the way around Okay, so after you're done with uh, your third row, in our fourth row, we're going to do two single crochet increase, two single crochet increase, all the way for a total of 24 single crochets. So you're going to do two single crochet, single crochet, and then increase in the next one. So you're going to do to single crochet in the same stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that to single crochet so one two then increase in the next one Okay, and then you're going to repeat that all through until here at the end for a total of 24 single crochets okay so after you're done uh, with your fourth round in our fifth round uh, we're going to do three single crochet increase three single crochet increase all the way around so you're going to go one single crochet two 
single crochet, three single crochet, and then increase in the fourth stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again. One single crochet, two single crochet. Three single crochet okay and then increase in the fourth stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done with that, in our sixth row, uh, we're going to do four single crochet increase all the way around for a total of 36 single crochets. So we're going to do one, two single crochet, three, four, okay, and then increase in the fifth stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch then you're going to repeat uh, the pattern all around okay so we're going to do one two three four and then increase in the next stitch Okay, so you're going to repeat that all around until here at the end okay so after our sixth row in our seventh row we're going to do five single crochet and then increase all the way around for a total of 42 single crochets okay so you're going to do one two three four five and then increase in the next six stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch so you're going to repeat the pattern all around so five single crochet increase in the sixth stitch until you reach here at the end okay so after you're done uh, with your seventh row in our eighth row we're going to do six single crochet increase in the seventh stitch all the way around for a total of 48 single crochets okay so we're going to do one single crochet two three sorry three four five six then increase in the seventh stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that all around so you're going to do six single crochet increase six single crochet increase until here for a total of 48 single crochets okay so after the eighth row in our ninth row we're going to do seven single crochet increase all the way around okay so you know how the pattern goes so we're going to do seven single crochets first oh. okay so one two three four five six seven okay and then uh we're going to increase in the eighth stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay so you're going to repeat that all around so seven single crochet increase in the eighth stitch all the way around for a total of 54 single crochets Okay, 
So after that, in our 10th row, we're going to do 8 single crochet increase all the way around until the end. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then increase in the ninth stitch. So you're going to do 2 single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, so you're going to repeat the pattern all around until here. Okay, so guys, when you're done with this 10th row, in the next row, which is the 11th row until the 16th row, you're going to do single crochet all around for a total of 60 single crochets. So when you're done with this, um, uh, in the next uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16th row, make sure to do 16 uh, single crochet all the way around and uh, you'll have a total of 60 single crochets and I'll see you when you're done with row 16 so that I show you how to do the 17th row so guys after you're done with your 16th row this is how it looks like so in our 17th row you're going to change to the yarn of the hair or uh, so in my case I'm using this orange pinkish yarn so we're going to start with the 17th row and in the 17th row you're going to start doing the puff stitch so in uh, we're going to do one puff stitch then one double crochet puff stitch double crochet all the way around so for the puff stitch you're going to yarn over go in the first stitch pull through like that so to some kind of height and then you're going again to yarn over the second time go in the uh, in the same stitch pull through so make sure uh, all of them are the same height okay so that is two and then yarn over again the last time so you're going to yarn over three times pull through and then you're gonna have so one two three four five six seven so you have seven loops on your hook and then you're going to pull them all through all of them through so this is how it's gonna look like Okay, and then in our next uh, stitch, we're going to do double crochet. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, go in the next stitch, pull through, and then pull through two loops, and then pull through the other two loops. Okay, so you're going to repeat again one pass stitch. So you're going to yarn over, go in the next stitch, pull through, okay, yarn over again, go in the same stitch pull through and then yarn over again go in the same stitch and pull through and then you're going to pull through all the three of them and then again you're going to do double crochet so you're going to yarn over go in the next one pull through and then pull through and pull through all the two of them so it's gonna look something like that okay so you're going to repeat one pass stitch, one double crochet, pass stitch, double crochet all the way around for a total of 60 single crochets. Okay, so after you're done with your 17th row, this is how it should look like. So in our 18th row, we're going to do single crochet all around for a total of 60 single crochets. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so you're going to repeat that all around until here where the marker is for a total of 60 single crochets okay so after you're done with your 18th row in our 19th row we're going to repeat the same thing as the 17th row so we're going to do one pass stitch, one double crochet, pass stitch, double crochet all the way around until the end. Okay, so uh, we're going to do, we're going to start with our pass stitch. So you're going to yarn over, go in the first stitch, pull through, okay, yarn over the second time, go in the same stitch, pull through. So you have to make sure your loops uh, are even and then 
yarn over the third time the last time and then pull through and then you're going to pull through all the three of them okay and then in the next stitch you're going to do double crochet so you're going to yarn over pull through and then pull through two loops and then pull through the other two loops okay so you're going to repeat that so you're going to do puff stitch yarn over pull through first time yarn over going pull through second time and then yarn over pull through that time and then pull through all the three of them then you're going to do another double crochet so yarn over go in the next stitch pull through pull through two of them and then pull through the other two so you're going to repeat the same pattern all through until you get here where your marker is so guys after you're done with your 19th row uh we're going to start with the 20th row and in our 20th row you're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 60 single crochet so you're going to go single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet so you're going to do that single crochet all the way around until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done with your single crochets um in the 20th stitch so in our next row uh which is the 21st row we're going to do one puff stitch and then one double crochet one puff stitch one double crochet same as the 19th row okay so you're going to do one puff stitch yarn over go in the second time and yarn over go the third time and pull through all the three of them and then one double crochet yarn over go in the next stitch pull through pull through in the first one pull through in the second one and then repeat that again so yarn over go in the first pull through yarn over go pull through yarn over pull through and then pull through in the next stitch and then double crochet yarn over pull through pull through two pull through next okay so you're going to repeat that uh one puff stitch one double crochet one puff stitch one double crochet all the way around until here where your marker is for a total of 60 stitches Okay, so after you're done with your 21st row in our 22nd row uh we're going to start we are going to do half double crochet all the way through so we're going to have a total of 60 half double crochets so half double crochets you yarn over go in the next stitch pull through oh sorry so yarn over go in this stitch pull through and then pull through all the loops okay so you're going to repeat that yarn over go in the next stitch pull through so you have three loops and then pull through all the loops so repeat that all over again yarn over pull through yarn over go in the next stitch pull through and then pull through all the loops so you're going to repeat the same pattern all around uh do all half double crochet until here and you have a total of 60 half double crochets okay so after you're done with uh 60 half double crochets in our 23rd row which is our last row uh we're going to start with seven single crochets so you're going to do seven single crochets first okay just a moment okay so you're going to do one Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven single crochets. So after the seven single crochets, in the next twenty-three stitches, we are going to do uh, double crochets. So you're going to count 23 stitches uh, and then you do 23 double crochets okay so you're going to do uh, uh, double crochet one double crochet two double crochet 
crochet three double crochet four double crochet five okay so repeat that until double crochet 23 so after you're done with 23 double crochets uh, in the next seven stitches we're going to do single crochet so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six and single crochet seven okay so after you're done with that uh, you're going to do double crochet until the end okay so and then after you're done uh, with your double crochets uh, you're going to cut your yarn and uh, then I'll show you how to put on the clutch and how to do the finishing okay so guys as you can see I already finished with uh, making out making the parts so what I did is I embroidered the eyes the sleeping eyes uh, so you know this is kind of like a head a girl's head and then I put this little clip that I had uh, over the top okay so uh, you can buy it in the shop near you or uh, you can use anything else or you can use a zipper too if you want but this one looks better and then I cut some pieces of yarn and uh, I did uh, together I crochet it together well not really crochet but braid it together same like uh, the way you braid your hair so you're just gonna take some pieces of yarn and braid them together and it's gonna look like this and then you attach it here at the at the end so I didn't finish uh, finishing up already I didn't finish with it yet so I still have some things to do I still need to put this on well and do everything uh, well together so you can see also the back the way it looks and I hope you enjoyed this pattern guys if you have a question you can post it uh, below in the comments and please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos so I'll see you next time thank you bye